Hello fellow internet dweller, Brickenier here, and in this video I wanted to share my thoughts on a lot of the new, newly announced 2022 summer LEGO sets from a bunch of different themes. We're looking at Creator, Ninjago, Marvel, Monkey Kid, and Minecraft, as well as Harry Potter. I just wanted to share my thoughts on these sets because if you didn't know, I do not... I, I don't review new sets unless I get them early like I did with the uh, Ferrari Speed Champions set. So I'm not going to be reviewing these. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on them in case you cared uh, to know what those were. Or maybe you're watching this just because you haven't seen the sets yet. In which I would encourage you just to go to the promobricks.de website. Because that is where these are all from. These are all like official leaks or something i don't know what they are officially but like they're leaks for the uh the sets um so no star wars unfortunately because those release a month after all of these these should all be releasing like june 1st i believe and again there's six different themes that we're going to be taking a look at so the first one is creator and uh, i might i mainly wanted to look at the uh the big two the first one here under the sea treasure hunt um i have no interest in it looks kind of cool this manta ray build right here with the coral looks cool i think that looks dope um but like these are not sets that i ever get these are the ones that you find at discount at like michael's this one the noodle shop the uh, creator seems to have a lot of these like three in one buildings so this one is a noodle shop downtown noodle shop 31131 is the number there this one is kind of interesting i like the little brick built animals like the bird and the dog the minifigures look cool and the noodle shop looks cool as well uh that's really all i have to say about it um i would not get this just because, like, it's not what I get for Legos. It's going to be about probably 40 50 bucks. Uh, this is actually interesting, though. It is a recreation of the 2007 Viking ship Challenges the Midgard Serpent, a set that I have reviewed on this channel in the past, just like a couple months ago, I think. So uh, this is really cool to see basically a creator remake of that set with a lot more brick built structures like the sail is brick built as opposed to like a cloth piece and the whole of the ship is used uh is built with a bunch of smaller pieces as opposed to in the original set it has a bunch of like big big pieces uh, that all connect together to make the hull of the ship this one is looks like it's all using much smaller pieces which adds a lot more detail and it's probably more fun to build uh this one is three in one just like almost all the other creator sets so you do get a also a viking inn or a tavern which looks awesome i love the minifigures included in this set and you also get a wolf um to fight like a fenrir i think his name is from like norse mythology uh, there was a wolf battle set in the original Vikings line in 2007 as well, but it, it was much smaller and was actually built of Technic pieces. Uh, but this is also kind of a callback to that set as well. Uh, it is going to, it's pretty pricey. It's 120 euros, which I would say is about 120, 130, 140 dollars USD. Uh, so I'm not going to be buying this, especially since I have the original Viking ship set. But I will say that uh, this set does look really cool. And uh, if it's interesting, looks interesting to you, I would look more into it. But yeah, that is the creator sets. There's only three of them. Uh, next up is Ninjago. And uh, I'm already looking at these a little bit. Uh, for me, Ninjago, I've had an on and off relationship with Ninjago. I've loved Ninjago the first two seasons with the skeletons and the snakes. And I also loved the uh, Dungeons and Dragons kind of 
fantasy line uh, in 2020 with the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon and Dragon. I only have the dungeon. I want the dragon. Uh, but the, I just wish that, like, Lego would stick with each season for a bit longer because I feel like they're wasting a lot of potential with these seasons. You know, there was, like, a, uh, a post-apocalyptic one that was really cool, and it could have brought us a bunch of, like, Mad Max inspired cars and stuff but unfortunately we did not get any of that we got like the diesel knot and I think that was it um so yeah so but this like it's not really any particular other franchise or theme is like crystal dragons and crisp and like gold and stuff like that so that is the theme for this season um it's called crystallized apparently uh, so first of all, there's a 4 plus set, which looks really stupid. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. This dragon lo looks so funky. Um, when I was 4 and 5, I was building the normal Lego sets. I mean, when I turned 5, I my parents got me the uh, Temple of the Crystal Skull Indiana Jones set. So I really don't think that little kids that are 4 and 5 need to be building these easy-to-build sets, learn-to-build sets. I think that they should just go straight into the normal sets because these just look stupid and um, yeah I don't think kids are dumb enough or that dumb like they can build normal sets like they, they don't need stuff like this and this doesn't even fit the rest of the sets like this is just a weird set but uh, anyway uh, we have Jay's Gold Dragon Motorbike 71768. Uh, this is going to be $20 USD. I think it looks kind of cool. The minifigure for Jay doesn't look like Jay at all. It doesn't have any blue on him at all. The bike does, but the minifigure does not. Kind of looks more like Lloyd. Um, there's not a really good image of, I guess this is better. It's like green and yellow as opposed to blue, which is weird. Um, the bike looks fine. And it kind of reminds me of the Ghost Rider bike from like, I don't have no idea what year. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple bike. The minifigure for the Crystal Dragon guy looks actually sick. And I might want to get a small army of them because they look really awesome. They remind me of the Ice and Fire Chima figures, the um, ice enemies. They all, you know, they all uh, are have a bunch of ice built into them and they just look like really cool figures. So this kind of reminds me of that and I love those figures. So and these guys look like I would love them too. Also, new, like, weapon pieces, which is also awesome. Uh, this one is the 71769 Calls Dragon Eraser. Uh, it's going to be $40 USD. Uh, Minifigure-wise, I think this set looks pretty sick. Although, I don't know why they turned coal into orange, as opposed to sticking with black because I thought there was another orange ninja so there was no need for Cole to be orange but I guess uh, they're going into more orange and black as opposed to just black I mean I love orange and black as a color scheme but uh, yeah and this car looks kind of okay um, I don't really have any interest in this build the minifigures like this Cobra and this I think it's the same guy as the other one. Look cool, though. So that is that car. Then we have Zane's Gold Dragon Jet, which I feel like I've seen this build for. It looks like they've reused a design. Maybe not exactly, but it kind of reminds me of, like, Jay's Lightning Jet, I think it's called, from Season 2 of Ninjago, as well as kind of like the Quinjet from Avengers. And kind of they like mashed it together with this golden Zane color scheme. Not particularly interested in this jet at all. Um, but this minifigure here, this skull, or 
what was it? I read it just a minute ago. The Skull Mage. I think that's a cool looking figure. They reused this piece from the Skull Sorcerer um, from that like wave of Ninjago sets from like two years ago. Uh, but yeah, so cool figures. Uh, not interested in the build at all. This is going to be 30 euros. It looks way bigger than I would... I thought this was going to be like a $50 set. But 30 or thirty euros is probably 20... Or not 20. Uh, 30 or 40 USD. So that's not a bad price, I would say. There's a lot of huge pieces in it. So, um, yeah. So this Temple of the Crystal King... and It's not Temple of the Crystal Skull. It's Temple of the Crystal King set 71771 interesting number there this set i might want to get i love like places as opposed to vehicles i think like star wars i'm fine with getting a bunch of vehicles for but basically anything else i would prefer to get places as builds and i think this one looks really really awesome for starters you have all these crystal pieces that just make the bill look cool and then you get this which is using tensegrity which is really awesome it's basically it's some sort of probably physics thing where these chains are holding this piece up so it looks like it's floating but it's actually being held up by this chain and these two chains and uh, I've seen a lot of tensegrity builds on YouTube um, but it's really cool to see them finally put one into an actual Lego set. Uh, this might not be the first time, but it's definitely the first time I have seen this used. I do love the figure selection. You get one of the crystal dragons. You get the crystal king, which looks like he has four arms. You get all four of the normal ninja. So that is awesome. And again, the build just looks really really cool and it looks like the whole thing is floating as well it looks like these there's some support pillars in the back of it but those are kind of supposed to look like fountains of like liquid crystal or something so it, it looks like the whole thing is floating and i think that's really awesome and there's also this like path to a shrine that also looks really cool um so yeah i might want to get this set it's going to be 80 euros, so that's probably going to be between 80 to 100 USD. And uh, I might want to get this one because it does look really cool and it has a great figure selection. And speaking of sets I want to get, the Crystal King. So this is not the Crystal King, apparently. Whoever is in here. Or maybe this is like the Crystal King's true form or something. Uh, but I really love the build in this set. You get a big build of a crystal king um, that just looks cool. I love brick built monsters in Lego. And I think this one looks really awesome. It's like a centaur. It's got a tail in the back. It's got four legs. And then it's got the torso that looks cool. Like crystals infused into him. He's got the big arms that are able to hold like big weapons he's got like wings it looks like or partial wings and a crown using these new crystal blades that all just combine to make a really awesome build you also get two more crystal dragon soldiers which both look awesome to help build your crystal army and you also get this lady here uh, which I have no interest in. And you also get Lloyd. Uh, it's weird that he doesn't seem to have the same design as the rest of the ninja. But yeah, that is the Crystal King. And then, uh, and this one's going to be 50 euros or 70, or 60 euros or 70 dollars. So I might get this. It does look cool for sure. I wouldn't mind getting it. Uh, is better to say um kai's gold dragon raider this is the weirdest looking vehicle i've ever seen um yeah it's got these two 
wheels on the side. It's a very funky looking thing. By the way, there's that orange ninja. I don't know why Cole is becoming the orange ninja when there's already an orange ninja. Um, but yeah, this is a very interesting vehicle. Uh, I am not going to even consider getting it because it looks so weird. But it does come with a great figure selection with three more crystal dragons. Uh, oh, they're called Veng Stone Warriors. And you're going to get Mr. E, who's this guy. Um, so that is that set. It's going to be apparently $90. So that probably means that this one is $80. This one's $70. This one's $90. And then there's this one, the Lloyd's Ultra Gold Dragon, which is like a remake of the but it's not really a remake of like the dragon with the four heads from the snake season season two of ninjago but this one's gold uh honestly that much gold kind of looks ugly um however it is a cool looking build i guess you can like move a little bit you do get a ton of figures. Look at that. Holy cow. You get all the main ninja plus like a super gold Lloyd plus three Vangstone warriors plus the Crystal King. Um, I think that's what, yeah, Crystal King. So yeah, that is a, interest, a great figure selection. Interesting build. You do get the, the, um, a throne for Lloyd, which looks like he has the four golden weapons, which by the way, I didn't mention this, but it looks like there's a new mold for the scythe of earth. And that looks really awesome. Looks like there's just new molds all around for all the golden weapons, which is cool that they've kind of brought back the golden weapons. Cause you got the nunchucks here. You got the uh, shurikens, the scythe, and this sword honestly doesn't look that good. Uh, I mean, like, they literally use in this set the actual golden sword, the fire sword. So I don't know why they had to introduce whatever that was. Where was it? Whatever this is. Um, maybe it's Lloyd's golden weapon. I don't know. Uh, it's not important. Okay, next is, uh, it looks like this is the last one. So there's a ton of them. Nia's Samurai X Mech. Um, this does not really fit in the in terms of the color scheme to anything previously seen. But I guess it is like a water, so it's like a light blue. I guess that makes more sense. Uh, uh, there's a lot going on in this set that's for sure you get like a crystal monster you get this jumbo samurai mech which looks interesting samurai x you get like a little kid ninja you get j you get master Wu. uh you get a guy with the bowler hat for some reason <laughs> uh you get i think his name was pythor but now he's white instead of purple so it's interesting to see that they bring back all these characters and you get like an oni guy uh no thoughts i don't like mechs or i have a very limited care for mechs and ninjago makes way too many mechs i feel so I have no interest in this mech at all. The figure selection looks pretty neat, but other than that, uh, no interest in this set. And it looks like it's going to be $120. This one is going to be 100 probably even more than this one. But that is Ninjago. There's a lot of them. Uh, Marvel, this is the only one. 
from Marvel. Or I think there's another one, but this is the only one I care to talk about. Uh, the Baby Groot figure that looks really ugly <laughs> and scary at the same time. These brick-built characters almost always look weird. You know, like with the Yoda. I mean, the Baby Yoda was fine, but this one, the Yoda f from like three years ago looks weird. Um, I think they should just stick with like droids because this looks weird and the eyes are way too big and it's just kind of creepy looking. You do get like a little awesome mix volume two there, but that does not justify buying this set at all, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hard pass on this one and it doesn't even look like it comes with a figure of Baby Goot, which kind of sucks. It comes with a plaque for some reason. And all it says is I am Groot, which is an interesting joke. Uh, that's kind of overplayed. Next is Monkey Kid. Now, I don't have any Monkey Kid sets, but I do respect them, and I think that they're all cool. Or not all of them, but I, I feel like Monkey Kid Lego has put a lot more effort into than a lot of other themes. Uh, this first set, the Monkey Kids uh, Team Transporter. Uh, I, it, it's an interesting idea with like a giant truck or a team van. Um, but this is not why I was talking about. I wanted to talk about the Monkey Kid. I wanted to talk about this one. Which right now has a German name. Um, but it's actually called the Heavenly Realms. And I think I saw this. I was looking at it at school. And I was just like. Dang this set looks sick. I think this set is awesome looking. The way the temple is built. Is absolutely gorgeous. And all the different techniques used to build it look absolutely fantastic the minifigures are i don't really care about although they do look sick and they have tons of cool looking molded hair um but for in terms of the actual build i think it looks awesome it has all these like weird clouds that kind of like take away from the build but other than that i think this set looks absolutely gorgeous i love the tree here this little shrine or statue looks awesome this gate looks amazing just everything about this looks awesome and uh it's gonna be like 200 dollars, which is kind of crazy um there's the figures they all look pretty neat but yeah if i have 200 dollars laying around i'll definitely buy this because it looks really awesome i still want the set from i think last year or the year before which was the uh fruit mountain that one looks also beautiful so but yeah monkey kid these massive monkey kid sets not the ones connected to like the actual story with all the characters but these like standalone monkey kid sets i think nail it they you know they hit it out of the park and this one is definitely no exception it is absolutely gorgeous uh, and then finally we have, or second to last, I will also look at the Harry Potter ones that were released or announced a couple weeks ago. Uh, we have Minecraft. My brother loves the Minecraft Lego sets. I personally don't, but it is cool to look at them. We have the bakery with uh, a villager and a goat. Looks pretty neat. Probably like a $20 set. Or actually, yeah, $20, $25 set. These small Minecraft sets especially, I have no interest for. Uh, the Nether Bastion. You get some a Strider, you get a Magma Cube, you get two hog or Piglins. I think this is a cool build. Uh, the Nether Bastions are supposed to be much bigger. This is kind of sad to see you only really get a corner of it. Uh, this is a cool looking piece. But yeah, that's the Nether Bastion. We get the Ice Palace. This is cool. You know, I love these like fortress builds. 
from Minecraft. Because you don't have to use them for Minecraft. You get like a cool skinned version of Alex and like a abominable snowman. <laughs> Minifigures in Minecraft sets are obviously not the draw. I do think that this build is cool. It looks like it's going to be like 50 bucks. I'm not going to get it, but it does look cool. And then finally, or actually two more sets, we have the barn. Which I think this one also definitely looks cool. I don't know, it's not letting me click it. Uh, but this one, yeah, this one looks really awesome. Uh, there's not a lot of, like, normal farming Lego, like, city sets. So it is cool to see one from Minecraft. You get, like, a bunch of little animals with the little baby cow, the normal cow, the horse, the chicken, the goat. Yeah, I think this is a neat set to pick up if you like Minecraft. And then finally is the Llama Town. Which is going to be like $130. And this one looks awesome. Again, I wouldn't buy it because I'm not into Minecraft Legos that much. But I do think that this is a lot that you're getting. You get a massive llama uh, from the Wandering Trader. You get all these little shops. Does it even come with the Wandering Trader? It doesn't look like it. That's kind of disappointing. But you do get a, a normal llama, and you get some illagers and stuff. Yeah, I think this is a really cool build. You also get an acacia tree, I notice. So yeah, that is a uh, a cool build. Although it's not something that I would get if I had the chance. And now finally for Harry Potter. Alright, so we have the Harry Potter sets now. Um, so we have the uh, Hogwarts Carriage Thestrals. I do have a Thestral from like a Fantastic Beast set. So I don't really have any need to get this set. But it does come with a baby Thestral which is awesome. And uh, it comes with Luna Lovegood and Harry Potter. Very basic set for 20 bucks. This set does look cool. But it is $50. It, look, it seems like it's like a $40 set. But it's going to be sold for $50. Probably because Buckbeak is in it. Uh, I already have a Buckbeak. So I don't need this set. But it would make a cool addition to my 2010 Hogwarts Castle. I do like the bottom build. It does look very nice. And this, this gateway or archway piece also looks cool. And there's like golden frogs and stuff. That looks cool. Again, I think it's a little too expensive, but otherwise it's a neat looking set. We have Dumbledore's Office, which is an interesting build. I don't remember this being in uh, Hogwarts, but it uh, looks fine. You got a, a large library at the bottom, which does look really neat. You get the office and like a little crystal ball. And then the Sword of Gryffindor at the top there. I would say that this set is cool. Uh, it's $80. Which is not bad. Uh, then we have the Ministry of Magic. Which looks fine. It's cool to get a Ministry of Magic set finally. Although I would not get this. Because I have no interest in the Ministry of Magic. And you get a bunch of figures. A lot. A lot of figures. Holy cow. There's like... Was that 10 or 9? And then you also get an additional like swappable heads and stuff to get the three main guys. So that's a cool set. I love the colors on it. And I love how it opens up and has a ton of rooms. That's cool as well. This set I definitely want to get the Hungarian Horntail. Uh, I hope it does come off of this stand. If not, it's still a really awesome set with uh, the new broom build and it just looks super detailed much better than the one that they came out with like two or three years ago and better than the original horntail set then there's also the shrieking shack which is going to be 90 dollars, which i feel is way too much especially since i only want it for the shrieking shack i don't want the whomping willow i don't want this fence you know, I just want the Shrieking Shack. So for $90, I don't 
think it provides enough for that price point. But it does come with a lot of figures. You're going to get the werewolf. You're going to get Sirius Black. You're going to get all the kids and Peter Pettigrew, which is cool. It's got a very similar build for the Whomping Willow uh, that was included with one of the later or latest uh, Hogwarts builds. So maybe you're going to have two Whomping Willows now. And then the last one is 12 Grimmauld Place, which I think looks really cool. You know, the, the feature to expand out the actual house from the other two houses I think is a really awesome feature um lots of figures from the Order of the Phoenix this is not my favorite movie of the Harry Potter movie so I don't really have a super connection to this building um but I do think it looks like a, a neat set for uh $120 I think it's a fine set it's got like the What's this guy? Sirius Black Family Tree. That's cool. Yeah, so that is the Harry Potter wave. I like a lot of new sets that we haven't gotten ever. Or I guess only really one. But, I mean, it, it's done really well. And these remakes of older Harry Potter sets are also done very well. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like 2022 summer for lego is going to be very exciting i'm definitely still waiting for the lego star wars sets which hopefully will be revealed within the next month and i'll make another video on that uh but yeah this is just uh my thoughts on these summer 2022 sets for lego because i won't be reviewing any of them unless i get them early which i probably won't uh but yeah so that is my thoughts i'll leave the links to all of these articles in the description thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed have a great rest of your day peace out